kind of change. And so you think of the fact that there are poets, there are writers, there are short story uh, authors, and there are playwrights, and there's music. There's so many things that are related to the beauty and the eternal power of trees. And last year, when there was a debacle of 65,000 trees being chopped in Delhi, and the pollution levels being very high, I wonder what it would be like to ask different artists to create works on trees. So here I was looking at the subject in which the subject is the object and the object is the subject. But I think the beauty of trees is that there is an inherent part in each one of us in your love of nature. And that is how I thought of the exhibition and requested artists to create something that had a reference to me. Kalpa Briksha stands for the tree of life. It stands for the tree that nurtures, it stands for the tree that gives birth, it stands for tradition, and it stands for history. And uh, it is Jyoti Bhatt's print of the Kalpa Briksha that actually set me thinking. And that is why I thought that everything about the tree is about the past and the present. And the tree of life is the phrase that the Western people use. The Kalpa Briksha is the phrase that we Indians use. And I thought putting the two together, one could, could create something that is different. Also, I believe that when you deeply believe in nature, you can either be an activist or you can be an advocate. I decided that I wanted to be an advocate. And that is why the show has a soft and soothing harmony to it. Here are trees that talk to each other. And that is precisely what I wanted. The great writer Herman Hesse says, trees are sanctuaries. And he said, we must listen to it.